Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Anya. Welcome to Anya's Tarot and the Law of Time. I am revamping this channel, so if you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you're new, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm on Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and I left a picture on the front of the video so you can take a look at the cards whenever you feel like it. I use several different decks. I use the Nightmare Before Christmas. I use an Ascension deck. I use the Psychic Tarot, and I use regular tarot. So it's all a combination so I can get the total, total message out of this, okay? And I do it this way to save time, otherwise it would take forever. So I make this short and sweet. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And please like, subscribe, and share so I can get into the algorithm, because I'm not even in it. <laughs> anyway, um, what I see going on here is a, trans, uh, a complete and total transformation of a situationship. Now, I'm not sure if this is a relationship or a situationship, but what I do know is that this side is mirroring this side, okay? It says, mirroring each other, self-image relationships and reflect our wounds, introspection, okay? So this person is mirroring this person and this person feels there's just not enough. But frustration in a relationship, a lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So this person, I feel like lost a lot of their self-confidence in this situation. They self-sabotaged because they were jealous of this other person's other situation that they made a choice in, and I'll explain that to you in just a moment. Okay, we're gonna get into this. This is one side, this is another side, this is down the middle. On this side, we have accelerated motion, okay? Because something is coming to an end for this King of Wands. Because they were enlightened. They use their intuition. And I say he because it's a King of Wands, okay? Doesn't mean that it's a he. But this person, something came full circle something ended it was a whole different world they were stepping into i feel like because of conflict a choice and love there was a conflict about who this person loved, who they truly loved, because there was a choice between two and I think they made the wrong choice. They thought they were making the right choice because it was attractive and it was, you know, on the surface it looked good. But the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Five of wands basically which is conflict tells me that they think they might have made the wrong choice okay that's the reflection in the mirror that they're getting as far as where this could go we get the seven of wands the sun and the four of wands This is where this could go. Whoever this person is that I'm talking to now. 
There's nothing but winning here. As long as you drop your guard. You have to drop the guard in order to have the little redhead running through the sunflowers with the sun on her back, okay? You have to drop your guard. There's family involved here as well. And I'll get to that in just a moment. Um, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership for romance angels. But before you can do that, you need to find your joy. You need to balance yourself. Find the vibration that you belong in. Because I do feel like you're battling your dark and your light right now. You need to find this joy. That's what Spirit's asking you to do. What makes you happy? Because that's the road you should follow. All right? All around energy is the Three of Wands. <clears throat> there is a lot of waiting going on here to cross through to that other side on the lion. Are you gonna go through with the lion? Or are you gonna just hang there and wait forever? That's up to you. On the bottom of this deck, we have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Looking over your shoulder, the other woman. So there is somebody here who's being quite malicious in this connection. They don't want it to happen because, like I said, the choice was made here before that may have cost somebody their stability. I'm just saying. And they, it's, it's like they came to a shock realizing what love truly is. And they are looking for their joy. They're looking for that light to follow. Okay. Let's get into this side now. Okay, for this side, the not enough side, we got the five of potions. That's the five of cups. Somebody got ghosted. Okay, or disappointed, very disappointed in this Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. And they had to make a choice out of confusion because they weren't sure what to do with this. They were disappointed, yeah. So, what do they do about it? They stand in their own power and be this nine, this nine of pentacles. What's funny about this is that I got two nines right here in my face. Because the next row is the queen of swords, the nine of wands, and the Aquarius, the star. This is a star. This is a person who may possibly be in the public eye who is very, very hopeful and on their guard and acting like they give no, I'm gonna say it fucks. Like, I just don't care anymore. I'm still on guard because my hope was ghosted. Okay, so this person is still very guarded and very, I don't want to say hurt, just standing in their truth and saying, you know what, enough is enough. I've had it. I'm not, see, I'm, I'm going this way from my hopes because my hopes have disappointed me. Okay. But. Here we go again. 
we have the nine of presents, which is wish fulfillment, hopes rewarded, but deception. So even if the, you could be dealing with an Aquarius here, I mean, I've got Leo, Aquarius, Pisces. So you could be dealing with any of these signs and, and you don't really put too much into that because um, like say my, my Venus is in Aquarius. So that would be more of a match than say my sun sign in Pisces, okay? But this Aquarius or this, this person who had high hopes of wish fulfillment got stabbed in the back, got lied to, all right? So you can't blame this person for being on their guard and not giving two shits about anything that's going on on the outside world right now because it's just not enough to make up for what has been done to them in many ways. It doesn't have to be just this situation. I feel like this person has carried a lot of burdens, has carried a lot of heartache with them throughout their life. It's like they're always disrupted. They're never stable. There's always something going on. And on the bottom of the um, the bottom of, of what a nightmare before Christmas, we have the six of needles, which is the six of swords. This person is moving on. They can't deal with the malicious uh, looking over your shoulder energy anymore. It's disrupting their life to a point where they can't, they can't concentrate, they can't do what needs to be done in order to advance themselves. So, but very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it, it comes to you now. Because you're in the middle of your manifestation by detaching to the outcome of your hope and your wish fulfillment. You are manifesting the very opposite. You're, you're manifesting the, the wish fulfillment. The creative spark and you're in standing in your integrity. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So whoever this person is, they have an idea and although they've turned away from mostly everything, they still have that hope buried deep within them that it's going to change, that things are going to get better and they're working at it. It's causing a bit of disruption in their life. Yes, it's causing them to have mental conflict and be trapped in fear, but that, is being transformed right now, okay? On both sides. This person is taking a look at the bigger bigger picture and the overall perspective of maybe they made the wrong choice about what their son really was. And this person over here has been disappointed so much that they don't, they don't even care. They've kind of given up on their hopes and dreams but they're gonna be pleasantly surprised because them letting go of that is allowing it to come in, to transform. The mental conflict will soon, soon be broken through and you won't be trapped in fear anymore. There are children affecting the situation on either side, or, or on both, your, both sides, there are children affecting the situation. All right, this is your love life. What I got in the middle here, was somebody's tired of being fair, okay? This is the 10 of swords in the, in the regular tarot. 
somebody is tired of being fair here. They're stuck. They're like, I'm done. I've, I've given all I can give. I can't give no more. I'm drained. I'm tired. I've been lied to, stabbed in the back and everything else. I don't want to deal with this anymore. And this can come from both sides because I do feel like this side is dealing with another partner. This side is single. This side is dealing with a partner. I don't know if they're married. I don't know. If, I don't know what the story is. That's for you to figure out. Okay. And in the middle, you both are manifesting the past because you're mirroring each other. You're taking this situation and you're transforming it and making it into what you want. And it's the past and it's coming back. I told you, it's coming back. But you gotta understand that you are both the magician here. So you need, you both have equal power to manifest anything that you desire. And I do feel like there is some kind of journey that you two are supposed to take so this one needs to come out of a lack of confidence and this one needs to come out of a lack of confusion okay this one's confused this one's confused but i think you guys are going to transform it nine of swords six or, or the hangman so I think both of you have come to this scary conclusion that this is real and you're being illuminated by spirit that whatever this is it's where you're supposed to be see the light and you're gonna stay stuck until you both come out of this mental prison that you're in one thinking they're not enough the other one has too much drama going on not to mention they're trying to find their joy so remember like i said take it how it resonates i'm gonna pull some moon oracles and on the bottom of this one we have destiny so this is a destined connection, even if even if people don't want to believe in destiny. It is, this was destined to help both of you grow, to help both of you see the above all picture. It's like an adult standing over a playground of children, okay? You're standing there and you're looking at the whole picture and this one's like, you know what? I, I, I think I'm, I'm done, I've had enough. But they still have hope. They still hang on to that last shred of hope, even though they just have no confidence in it hardly at all. They're the queen of swords. They just as soon cut your hand off as to shake it, okay? The bitch. That's what you want to put it. We're going we're gonna to take this in the... See what... Gratefully, I surrender my struggle. Wow. Yeah. So, it, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like you both are exhausted. You both are tired of disruptions in your life. And you are surrendering to the divine. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Every day I focus on what is important. So what's important to you? What's important to you, Scorpio? Is it being trapped in a mental prison? Or is it believing that your hopes and dreams can come true? that you can have this four of wands, this happy home, and everything that you ever dreamed of with the one that you are meant to be with, okay? 
this one says, I seek balance and grounding. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Balance that dark with that light. Go outside and walk in the in the grass barefoot. I mean, no shoes, no socks. Just walk around in the grass, stand on the ground, and let Mother Nature detox your body. Okay? Go to the beach if you got one. And then we have, I accept that here, now, is exactly where I am. And that is the place of profound learning. Beautiful. So you both are very much growing and very much learning. Read that. Uh huh. I will not remain stuck. I choose to change. That's, that's, that's great. I want to cry. That's great. Nobody has to stay stuck here. This person's already moved on from the past, but the past is coming back around, sweet cheeks. Okay? It's coming back. Let's see what's going on on this side. These are my own tarot cards. So they will say things on them that will help clarify the issue. Okay. Again, this is the third time that this has come out and I shuffle these cards pretty good. You just watched me. So this person is dealing with somebody who may possibly be in the limelight. They may not be famous famous, but there is something about them that attracts others. And they are kind of well known, all right? I don't feel like this is somebody super famous. I feel like it's somebody that just has a lot of followers. I think that's how you put that. Sorry, I'm not real tech savvy. I'm not uh, 25 years old anymore. I don't speak the lingo. Praise is a weapon. And being nice is sometimes not. Which tells me that this person is being nice when they shouldn't probably be nice. They're just, they keep praising someone, they keep telling them they're great and they're wonderful when they really need to tell them the truth. It's as simple as that closure. Cut off, cold hearted. Whew. Scorpion sting. Haters. Okay. So this tells me that the only thing you're missing is gossip. But this person sees this other person as a famous person and they think that they use their praise as a we weapon to hide the fact that they're cut off and cold hearted and they're a hater, okay? So this could be just a friend, doesn't have to be a lover. I remember that. Okay. Spell work, outside influence. Woo! Okay. Yeah, we got a jealous lover here. It's time. It's over. It's time to go. Yeah. This person is done in believing in this ever coming. Needing time. Ready now. Moving on. Twin flame sacred. 
You had to throw that in there, didn't you, spirit? Broken heart at the bottom. Okay. This person knows this person is their twin flame. But they want things to be over. Because there's been some spell work and some out, outside influence that has hurt this person in some way. That has disrupted their life in some way. But they are seeking balance. They are seeking balance. You're both seeking balance. You know this is a twin this is a twin flame situation. And that this person they they needed the time to heal. But they believe that it's over. They don't have any any uh feeling that this is going to ever reconcile. Even though the spirit is asking them to decide what they truly want. And it looks like both of you are suffering from a broken heart, whether that be from each other or from outside influences, which is the spell work that's being done. Remember that spell work is spelling. It's speaking. It is words, whether they be harsh or soft. It is spelling. And I do believe there might be a witch in the mix here. With the High Priestess here and the Queen of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. I think there might be a, some kind of a... a someone who, pra who practices magic. I'm not sure if it's black magic or if it's white magic, but somebody's practicing magic. Which is whatever you want it to be. Setting boundaries. Threshold, protection, and honor. Okay. Alright, so this person is beginning to set boundaries. And because of that, they're getting haters. They're getting people who, do, who disagree with them, who who don't want to see them be happy. That's the only way I can describe it. And this one is about to be blessed. Okay? They're about to harvest the gathering of their blessings. Beautiful. Because they realized, they woke up, they realized that this was a twin flame relationship. Then it might not work out. And that is, their gift was from spirit. They were given the gift of being able to see what their true wish was. They became their own twin flame, so to speak. Let's see what the middle, down the middle we got, and that'll be your reading, Scorpio. Whoa, we got two of them, I guess. <sighs> Deep emotions, unknown feelings, past life influences, precognition, psychic ability, and future vision. Telepathic communication. You can't get around it. This is this is one of the issues with having a twin flame. Because no matter what you do, you will never be able to break this cord. You will have precognition of each other's lives. You will have precognition of your own life. You will be that parent standing on the playground watching all the little children. And you'll wonder if anybody you meet is going to meet your deep emotions and your vibration because your your vibration is so high that most most people that you you are probably involved with don't understand you. 
okay? You have a deep knowing of your own and a precognition, which means that you see things before they happen. All right? If you haven't tapped into this yet, it's coming online for you. And that's the third eye chakra. Okay, look into that. Third eye chakra for my Scorpios. Because no matter what's going on in the outer world, as long as you stay balanced and complete in yourself, you'll be fine. You'll be great. All right? Well, that's all I have for you this week, Scorpio. I will see you next week. And I also do other videos for, you know, Twin Flames, Dark Knight of the Soul. I started uh, the Law of Vibration already. I will start doing videos on those because the 12 Universal Laws are quite important. And if you cannot vibrate on the same level, which means your energy level. One can't be in depression and the other one be happy and, and joyful. The vibrations will never meet. So you have to balance those energies in order to be able to come together and stay together. That is the law of vibration. Okay? We'll talk about that again sometime. Until then, you guys stay safe, stay well, and take care. Bye-bye.